nothing, nothing compares to this place. Like, look at this. Good morning from paradise. Hello, paradise. Now that's a breakfast for the view, right? Oh my gosh. Look at that water, look at that water. It's minty green, so pretty. I just got some fruits and nuts and yogurt. Second round, so this is just toast and cheese, of course. And this roll, like the, what is it? Like apricot jab and pecan nuts and puff pastry is like one of my favorites. When it's made really well, I die. It's so good. Cheers. Freaking good. Yo, step into my office, baby. Isn't this like the perfect place on earth to work? And also, when your desktop background is exactly like what's in front of you. Look at this. Look at this. Bam. I just have some emails to answer, so I'm gonna do that for an hour. And then afterwards, we are probably going to have lunch at uh, Plaza Bio. This has got to be one of the most beautiful. What is it? Iguanas? Things I've ever seen in my life. Yes, finished with all the emails and I'm getting a little bit hungry again. So let's go into our Cura Mobile and on our way to Plaza Bieu. This is like a local market. Lots of people have lunch over there, lots of local people. So it, it's a must do. Like everybody I talked, about, uh, talked to about Curacao said, oh, you have to have lunch there. So that's what we're gonna do. Parked our Cura car a car <laughs> and now I'm walking towards Plaza Beer. Plaza Beer, let's have some wonderful local lunch. So it's a massive indoor food market and you have to order first here and pay and then you stand in line. Dude, look how delicious this food looks. The only thing I didn't anticipate was meat being in the bean stew. So I'm just going to, you know, put that aside and not eat it and only eat the rice and the vegetables. So I have to be careful not to eat the meat parts, but still, it looks delicious. That's the best. You need to eat there and also the atmosphere is absolutely awesome. It's, it's, it's more than food. It's an experience. Oh my gosh. I just stopped because I wanted you to see this, but it doesn't come off as good on camera as it does in real life like this water is a crystal clear turquoise i just got out of the car because i need to capture it for you okay seriously i want a flipping can like this water is it's out of this world look at this look at this it's freaking crystal clear bright blue turquoise water i can't i even forgot to take off my glasses what what are we going to swim here I don't know, should we go to Grote Knip? Because this is something different, I don't know. There was this lovely couple over there and uh, they had pumpkin pancakes and I just bought three more. So this is gonna be my dinner, four pumpkin pancakes. Also, uh, I am totally disoriented because this is Grote Knip. So, it's freaking gorgeous and we're going to swim here. Yep, I have definitely found my desktop background. Look at this, look at this. Crystal clear. This is this is my desktop background. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Talking about what's it called? You know those uh, like like mood boards and stuff like that. Yeah, I found my desktop background. Okay, we have a situation here, and I promise you, nobody is more bummed out about this than I am. I forgot my GoPro. Like I can't. Like this this is a new level of ignorance. I know I took it out of my safe. I don't know if I put it on the bed or if I took it with me and lost it along the way, which would suck even more because <sighs> why? Why why did I find the perfect beach and no GoPro? Like what? What? This is ultimately like fail. I have no words. You had one job. You had one job, Ivana. I am so freaking sorry and I promise you like I think we have uh, we have time to go to the beach again on Sunday because tomorrow we're going diving and yes I, 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 I hope I didn't lose my GoPro because then the diving can't be filmed either I can't I can't um, so if I still have the GoPro I will take you to this beach on Sunday and I promise to take you with me into the water. I am so freaking sorry, I, I can't. So I guess this is the boost image I can give you. Let me just zoom in on the perfection and everything. 
and I can't film underwater. Feel, feel, massive feel. I has decided to take a risk and to walk into the water with my good camera because I was just swimming for I think like 15 minutes or something. This 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 place is insane. I can't, I can't. If you go through my playlist, all my videos of all the beaches that I've been, nothing, nothing compares to this place. Like look at this. Look, look at the water I'm walking in. This is okay, not too deep. Not too deep. <laughs> no, that's a great show actually. But uh, I'm also sorry for the wind. But look at this. It is so freaking gorgeous. And the thing is like Jamaica also has gorgeous beaches, but Jamaica is not as developed as Curacao is, I have to say. They they have awesome things like Dun Waterfalls, Dun River Falls, Dun River Falls and amazing music and lots and lots of culture, but Curacao, it's like it's perfection. I can't. Like it's it's the perfect romantic place if you're a couple for girlfriends, it's the perfect place like to party and to hang out and it's also perfect for a solo vacation like I'm here by myself and I'm just cruising around and eating good food and swimming in this freaking water so it's perfection I have no other words it's perfection look at this I have to take a picture here oh and did I say their language is really sexy and they have very very good music you want to take selfies in the water put some glasses on look at this look at this look at this look at this it's so freaking perfect. I just I just walked into my computer wallpaper. That's the word I was looking for. Not computer background, my, my computer wallpaper. This is it. Perfection. If you would ask me right now to pick one holiday destination for the rest of my life, I would pick Curacao. It's almost 5.30 and I have to head back for the happy hour and the cocktails and stuff like that. But before I do that, I'm gonna have a little picnic with pumpkin pancakes. I've never had pumpkin pancakes in my life with this freaking with you. Like, wow, we. I don't know if you can hear me because of the wind, but here we go. So, my first pumpkin pancake ever. And you know, pancakes are my favorite food, so there's little that could go wrong, right? Mm -hmm. This is life. Yes, it takes pancakes definitely from perfection to perfection plus 10 because the pumpkin flavor and the cinnamon this is just so freaking good wow i need to have more of this pumpkin pancake i need to ask nadine to make this because she hates like thick pancakes but seriously this is so freaking good she has to mix it please comment down below if you want nadine to make these pancakes and we can make a video about it thank you seriously why didn't anyone else before told me about pumpkin pancakes like do you hate me or something this is life those pancakes were douches <laughs> i told you i speak a little bit puppy mint i also know some curse words no i'm gonna i'm not gonna say them like kb <laughs> if you know puppy mint you know what i just said <laughs> anyways if you if you want to get them and seriously if you don't get them you you haven't been to curacao you need to get pumpkin pancakes there's like a sweet old couple at the top of the stairs at grote knip right now i have to head back because we're invited for <gasps> kittens oh my gosh you have to oh uh, no they're gone anyways uh, yeah, we're invited for happy hour on Friday at the Avila Beach Resort. So let's do this. Let's have some fun. I'm back and look what I found. Oh, beautifully. Look at this. Look at this. Beautifully arranged by the cleaning lady. She's such a sweetheart. Look at that. All my shoes and and the GoPro. Oh, okay. It was bad. I forgot it, but I'm happy I didn't lose it. So we can go on Sunday and I will take you into the water at... I'm ready just a simple outfit this time so I got this maxi skirt which is really old and this top I think I bought it in Thailand underneath it I'm wearing uh, another monkey crop top and the sandals are from Zara oh this is just my regular day bag because I have to hurry up whoa again lots of people it's very crowded and I heard like uh, locals come here too so it's not just guests it's also the locals who come here on a Friday night for the happy hour I got myself another version pina colada because they're so freaking good and now I have to find a place to sit because everything is full winning in life found a table let's hang out 
to listen to awesome music. Cheers, baby. So freaking good. They're delicious. By the way, this place is so romantic. Like with ocean and they got a fire over there. Over there. Yeah. And it's just so Look, look, they're dancing! Yeah. Come more this way. I wanna dance like that with Stefan. Look at that. That's so cool. We're going to party tomorrow, but this is already so much fun. Seriously, like even the staff is dancing. Can't handle this guy's Shakira hips. Oh my gosh. That was so much fun. I really wish Stefan was here. We could dance. Well, actually he doesn't dance, but you know, have a drink together and stuff like that. First I was like a really, really romantic place. Like I've traveled to a lot of places, if you've seen all my vlogs you probably know that, but this is a place where I really feel like, oh, I wish he was here, because it's so romantic, it's really nice. So right now I'm going to have a pampering sesh, because this is our last night in the Avila Beach Hotel, tomorrow we're moving to Lion's Dive. This bathtub, man, this bathtub is freaking life. Just too bad that, you know, it's evening, so there's no view, but still. I'm totally ready for a workout in the middle of the night. Nah, bro. Nah. I am uh, I am ready because I need to get up early tomorrow morning. Well, it doesn't get much earlier than this morning, which was 4:30 a.m. Hello jet lag. But we are going to climb Christoffelberg or I think like on Curacao people would say Christoffelberg. I love their accent. It's it's just fabulous. That's right. Climbing but flipping rocks. If you like this vlog, please put a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button and then you can climb the Kerstoffelberg tomorrow with me. In case you don't know, I make travel vlogs like this every day that I'm traveling and also I make a travel related video on Saturday and a road back to India video on Sunday because I'm going back to India at the end of September. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!